The Nelk Boys are no stranger to controversy and YouTube knows this. If you've watched even a single piece of the Nelk Boys content then you'll know that the majority of their revenue comes from just merch sales. The reason for that is because YouTube basically demonetizes every video they put up. However now with their latest stunts YouTube has finally had enough and we're about to break it all down right here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and you're watching the number one tea spilling entertainment news show on the internet. Before we kick this video off if you want to see what your favorite influencers have been up to lately just tap that that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also, if you want to get notified whenever we post new content, you gotta smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Now, without any further delay, let's get right into today's trending news. The Nelk Boys first rose to social media fame by way of their prank videos and massive fan meetups, all of which were totally fine and commonplace right up until the pandemic put everyone on edge about big gatherings. The Nelk Boys have also been traveling across the United States to various college towns, most of the time to film new content, but also to actually meet their fans in the flesh. However, it's no surprise that their recent fan meetups has warranted action against the group of YouTubers. Specifically, they are faced with criticism of holding two massive gatherings in the span of just one day. Multiple videos from members of the group were also posted to their Instagram stories that showcase just how out of hand everything got. The first case was at Illinois State University. In response to this party, the president of the university called for a press conference to say that they're doing everything they can to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And the normal police arrived and the crowd dispersed. It really gives me no joy to convey my great disappointment in the actions of those who gathered. He also went on to say that students who were involved could face potential fines and suspensions. Now, according to The Hill, the Nelk Boys claimed that this was a protest of coronavirus regulations, which was echoed in their next stunt where another enormous mob of fans turned up at the Jersey Shore. It's drop day. We had to do something special. We're at the f***ing Jersey Shore house today. The boys are staying in the Jersey Shore house. That was crazy. Let's go. Cool. Hookers are here. In advance of their new clothing drop, they had posted that clip to IG Live and full on told all of their fans where they would be. So right away you know that there can be no defense coming from the Nelk Boys that this wasn't really their fault. If you tell your 3.6 million fans where you're going to be, chances are people will show up. Unfortunately, this final gathering of the day got extremely out of hand. The crowd turned into hundreds of people very quickly and when the police arrived, the situation only escalated further. A member of the group named Steve pleaded with the crowd to disperse or else the police would shut down everything that they had worked for, which I believe he was referencing their merch drop and not the party itself. You're ruining our the biggest day. We work too much for this day. So if you guys stay here, I don't f any of you. In response to all of this, YouTube decided to take action against Nelk and their 5.74 million subscribers on the platform. In a statement released by Team YouTube, they said, If a creator's off-platform behavior harms our ecosystem, we take action to protect the community. We suspended the Nelk channel from the partner program because they encourage large numbers of people to disregard social distancing guidelines, creating a large public health risk. This is really a good call on YouTube's part because just recently a new analysis of the virus found that the college campuses have actually been acting like fuel for some of the larger outbreaks across the United States. In response to all of this, Kyle from the group did post a video explaining what went down and the official account also released their own statement. In the tweet they said, for the record to the lying media trying to take down Nelk, we took all the precautions and paid for off-duty police outside the shore house. They were not called on us. Stop lying. Police themselves said to us we did nothing wrong. Either way, we want to hear your thoughts on the Nelk boys. Do you believe that YouTube was correct in demonetizing their channel or do you feel like this was all just a big misunderstanding? And while you ponder that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 5 Strangest Rules Ellen Makes Her Audience Follow. This name, right out of the, right out of the gate. <laughs> I had to put this in. Titlez says, I'm still shock. <laughs> I can't do it again. Titlez says, I'm still shook that Charlotte quit. We love you, Potato Queen. We're right there with you. The whole team is happy for her, but definitely sad to see the Potato Queen go. Pascal N says, just cancel that show. She's done, not popular anymore, so who cares? James Corden show is very, very bad. Okay, like you went off topic there. His behavior and his rules. He is a very mean man. He should be canceled too. Look it up. James Corden TA? I feel like I did a video calling James Corden out before the pandemic and everyone got mad at me because they thought he was nice. But, ah, new details. Who knew? I knew. Susan Gazzola says, I'm over Ellen. Drew Barrymore is a great replacement. Drew would make an excellent host. I would love to see her take over that show. I believe she did cut a little promo of like her own talk show, but uh, taking over Ellen's spot would definitely be the move. Danger Zone says, as an introvert, I don't think I'd enjoy being in the Ellen audience. 
Yeah, if you're an introvert, I would stay away from any daytime talk show. They'd just be calling you out. Even if it's for nice stuff, like if it's Oprah giving things away. If you're an introvert, you don't want that attention on you. So stay away from talk shows. Joseph Odell says, oh my god, I clicked so fast, this vid has been up 58 seconds, y'all. Now that's someone that has their notification bell turned on. Don't forget to ring that bell, and that way you can be part of our one minute upload squad. Thank you for watching our trending news segment, and thank you to the most amazing team behind the scenes for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, then please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave this comment down below with your thoughts on today's trending news story. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From Inform Overload, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy. Now that's someone who that has In response to this party, the President of the, I almost said United States. In response to this party, can I go back, sorry? It's, uh, yeah, there we go. In response to all of this, the YouTube, the YouTube, what am I, 90? This is a good call on YouTube's part, but just, okay, let's do that again, can I go back? <clears throat> and while you ponder that, let's check out some of your comments from the video title, so close.